Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new exciting after effects tutorial in this tutorial we are going to create really professional looking advertisement using particles so let's see what we will create today If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition let's call it particle animation. And I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 25 and duration 10 seconds long then click on ok. Ok now import your image. Now select your image and place it into this timeline, then make it a little bit bigger, something like that. Then right click, then choose pre-compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to picture. Then click on OK. OK, now create adjustment layer, so right click new, then click on adjustment layer. Then go to effect and preset window and search for extract. Now select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer. Now black softness set it 1 and white softness set it 255. Now go to around 8 second. Then set a keyframe on black point. Then go to around 2 second 8 frames and then increase the black point amount to 255 now go to effect and preset window and search for key cleaner now select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer now edge radius set it 42 and then click on this checkbox perfect Now select this uh, layer, then press uh, Ctrl Shift then D. Now delete this layer. Looks good to me. Now select these two layer, then right click, then choose Precompose, then select Mobile Attributes and rename it to uh, Emitter. Now click on OK. Now turn off. Uh, visibility of this layer and then make it 3d by clicking here okay now create a new uh, solid layer so right click new then click on solid rename it to particles now search for particular Particular is a third-party plugin from Red Giant. You can download this plugin and uh, use free trial version from link in the description box below. So please check this out. Okay, now go to emitter. Then emitter type set it layer and particle per second set it to one five zero 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 zero. Then emitter size Z set it zero. Then direction set it uh, uh, directional. Then direction speed set it 10. And then y rotation set it 90. Then velocity set it 200. And velocity random set it 50. And velocity distribution set it 5. Then velocity from emitter set it 0. Now go to velocity over life, then click on preset, then select this preset, then click here, 
to invert okay now go to uh, layer emitter then layer set it our emitter layer perfect okay now go to particles then life per second set it 1.5 and um, spear feather set it 0 life random set it 100 then go to size over life then click on preset then select this uh, preset and then change the curve something like that perfect okay and then size set it uh, 6 then go to opacity over life then click on preset and choose this third preset perfect now go to environment and uh, air density set to 0 now go to displace then go to spin and fade it fade in spin set it 3 okay now go to turbulence field and effect uh, position uh, turbulence field displace xyz set it uh, 750 then fade in time set it 2 now go to turbulence field controls then tf scale set it 2 and tf uh, complexity set it 10 and then uh, tf evolution speed set it 0 perfect now tf uh, move with drift set it 0 perfect okay let's ramp view this looks nice to me okay now go to project window and select our picture comp then place it into this timeline now select the track layer uh, track mat layer to our emitter layer and then simply select this um, alpha mat option okay now ramp view this looks good to me okay now create another composition let's call it main and then click on ok now select our particle animation comp then place it into this timeline let's uh, trim this comp hold down shift control then press D then click on delete okay now uh right click on this layer then go to time then click on time reverse layer and then again right click then go to time then enable time remapping and then extend the layer something like this okay let's uh, ramp view this looks very good to me now go to around uh, 6 second uh, 10 frames or 12 frames then set another keyframe on time remap then go forward few frames and increase the time until all particles disappear perfect now select this layer then press p then set a keyframe on exposition then go to around um, 
4 second 12 frames then set another keyframe then go to around our first keyframe and simply drag this comp something around here Now select this two keyframe, then press F9. Then open graph editor and simply change the graph curve. Looks good to me. Now set another keyframe, then go forward few frames, then change the position, something like this. Now select this to keyframe, then open graph editor and simply change the graph curve. Let's run to view this. Perfect, looks good to me. Now create a background. So right click new, then click on solid. And I am going with this dark gray color. Then put it below this particle layer. Okay, now create a null object. So right click new, then click on null object. And then select this particle layer. And then paint it to null one. Now go to around 2 second uh, 15 frames then select this new layer then press P then set a keyframe on X position then go forward few seconds then increase the X position a little bit perfect Now add your uh, logo and text. looks good to me now animate these layers select all these layers then press P then set a keyframe on Y position then simply select this keyframe then move it forward few frames now change the position something around here now press T, then set a keyframe on opacity and then set it 0, then move forward and set it 100%. Now press U, now select all keyframes, then press F9, then open graph editor and simply change the graph curve. Perfect. Now offset this layer a little bit.
looks good to me now go to around 6 second 10 frames then select all these layers then press p then again set a keyframe on y position and then go forward few frames and change the position something around here now go to this first keyframe then press p then set a keyframe then again go forward and opacity value set it zero now select these keyframes then uh, now now select these keyframes then open graph editor and simply change the graph curve to something like this okay let's run preview this let's adjust the position a little bit Now go to uh, effect and preset window and search for sharpen. Now select this effect and apply onto this our particle animation layer. And sharpen amount set it uh, 15. Then add curves. And change the RGB curves to something like this. Perfect. Our animation is complete. Press 0 to run with this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And please subscribe my channel and like this video. And if you have any suggestion, then please comment down below. Peace out.